What's up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, so today we'll be looking into the independent factorial ANOVA. And in this scenario, so you have two IVs and one DV. Your first IV is posture, and the levels are standing up and sitting down. And the second IV is uh, mic, microphone. And the levels are the absence of mic and or the presence of mic. And then your DV is attentiveness. OK, so to run a factorial independent ANOVA, go to Analyze, General Linear Model, and Univariate. So here comes the slotting variables part. So posture and mic are your fixed, uh, sorry, your IV, IVs, and you need to put it into the fixed factors box. Just slot them in like that. Attentiveness, put it into your DB. All right. And then go to options. So you want to put your uh, variables into the display means for box. So it's posture, mic, and the interaction between posture and mic. Put them in like that. Take on descriptive statistics. Uh, take on homogeneity tests to get your Levines. Then press continue. Also press post hoc. So uh, usually you would want post hoc uh, for your main effects. But in this case, we only have two levels for each of your IVs. So you don't really need post hoc. Uh, but if you, really, if you really just want to try it out, uh, start in both of your IVs, then you can ask for uh, Sheffy. And press continue. And if you want plots for your interaction, you can also request for that. So you go to plots, and then you need to put uh, your variables into the horizontal axis as well as the separate lines uh, box. So in this case, we can put posture here, put my here. Then you have to click on add uh, to make sure that SPSS knows that you are requesting for this block. Then press continue and press OK. OK, so these are your variables, sorry, your tables. And then if you notice that your plots are over here, yes, they look very bland, but uh, such is life. Anyway, so we'll go uh, into the interpretation of these tables in tutorials. So see you then, I guess. <laughs> 